Hello? Paging Dr. Stevens? Yes, Nurse Shelley. Speak. We've got a potential emergency here. Go on. We've got a patient here with a suspected declining battery capacity. That sounds serious. I'll get on the App Store. Coming through! Coming through! So if you've got a Tesla Powerwall, there's lots of data inside this product that you can't access with the Tesla app. Now the purpose of this video today is to rip open the insides of a Powerwall and we're going to show you an app called Net Zero that's going to give you all the information you've ever needed to know about your Powerwall. So let's get it on the table, doctor. Don't die! <laughs> yeah. And we'll, go, we'll crack into the video. So Ziga, the creator of the app, wanted to build technology that told you everything about your Powerwall, but also gave you access to make more money from it. And you can do this by connecting Powerwalls to these smart energy tariffs. Now these tariffs offer cheap rates, they offer high export rates, and in the energy market, things change quickly. I'm, I'm losing him! Yeah. Liam, Liam, it's continuity. So as I was saying, these smart tariffs can earn you a lot of money. Now as standard, your power wall can be set to charge up in a set time and it can also be set to discharge to the grid at the set time. So if you're on a tariff where you've got these cheap overnight rates, you can preset that with your Tesla. What this Net Zero app does for you is take that a step further because Octopus have something called Agile. Now somewhere in this product, Octopus are integrated but the Tesla app can't see it. Not yet, anyway. Net Zero can. So the Net Zero app can connect your Tesla Powerwall to Octopus Agile. This is their dynamic live pricing system. So there are points on Agile where energy is free or they're even paying you to take it. And there are points in Agile where energy is expensive because you've got a battery, your Tesla via the Net Zero app can watch out for these events and make sure you're always the right way around, earning you a lot of money. And given that this app is free, it's pretty spectacular from Net Zero. So not only is this Net Zero app going to be saving you money, it's also going to report the condition of the health of your Powerwall. So in that Tesla app, you can see whether your Powerwall is in normal operation or it's in fault mode. What the Net Zero app will do is report the condition of the battery cells and the inverter. So you can check for degradation, you can check for wear, you can see how many cycles the battery has performed. And what you won't have to do here is pay someone like Dr. Liam to come round to diagnose any issues you think you might have with your Tesla you'll simply be able to look at your Net Zero app and find out everything you need to know with the touch of your fingertips. So as standard on the Tesla app, you're gonna be able to see the total solar production of your home solar system. But what this is displayed in is the total production. Now, if you've got multiple roofs of solar, so you've got an east, west, maybe a southwest, different array, you're only going to see that combined figure. What Net Zero does is give you the individual array performance because on a Tesla Powerwall 3, you now get three strings. So a string is a circuit. It's what your panels are wired up to and the Tesla allows three different circuits. And in the Net Zero app, we can monitor the performance of each individual circuit. So what we can start to see is do we have an issue with a particular roof? Is it on the south array and it's not producing that much energy, but the sun is sat right there? This is gonna help us diagnose any problems. Now, this is obviously a limitation of the Tesla app because the Tesla app is only showing you that combined figure. So if you do spot a problem, diagnosing and isolating this issue might be tricky, but not with net zero. Okay, so rules and automation. Now, again, the Tesla app is pretty good at this because if you're on a cheap overnight tariff and you want to set your power wall to charge up in these times, it's really easy to do via their app. But what if you want to dive in a little bit more and maximize the efficiency of your system? And this is where Net Zero's rules and automation feature comes into play. 
So let's give you some examples of how you could utilize this to save some money. Let's take an EV charger. So you've got a Tesla power wall and you've also got a Tesla wall connector. You plug your Tesla in and you can, via the Tesla app, prevent the battery from discharging into a Tesla. But if you don't have a Tesla EV, then that's quite difficult to do. However, it's not difficult with the Net Zero app. You can simply tell your Powerwall, do not discharge into my wall connector, irrespective of the EV that is connected to it. But what about if you've got a power wall and you don't have a wall connector, the Tesla charger, you've got a third party unit. Well, again, you can still manage this via net zero because what they've included in the app is a power threshold. So if you take a normal house load that would be like two to 500 watts and you look at a car charger that may be seven kilowatts, what you can set in the app is if I have a power demand above X, don't discharge my power wall and that's probably going to be your EV charger and you can do this at various times in the day so if you're playing the energy market export into the grid and you want to keep your power and maybe there wasn't a grid event and you didn't want to do it you want to play around with it the settings are endless and it works for stuff like heat pumps as well so if you've got a heat pump in your home and you've got a power wall sometimes you'll be on one of these heat pump tariffs that have these set times in the day when energy is cheap. Obviously what you want to do in that time is not have your power wall run your heat pump. Now power walls can't talk to heat pump but they know what a heat pump load might be. So you can enter that into the parameter and you can manage your system effectively. If you've got any suggestions for a new rule or a new automation then you can submit these as a request into the Net Zero forum and they'll take a look at them and if they like them they might even develop it for you. Just before we carry on with this video, we just wanted to point out that this is not a paid advert. It was us that were using net zero on our own Teslas. We contacted Zigger and said, hey, can we do a video on your product? Would you share it with your network? And can you provide us some additional information that may help our users? Obviously, if you've got a Tesla Powerwall, this app is very powerful. So we just wanted to point that out. So like we said before, you can see your total solar production in real time. Okay? You're doing your best. Carry on. But how do you know that solar generation is right? You know, is that enough? Is that what you were expecting? This is where Net Zero has got another feature which we think is brilliant. I've got this in my property and it works brilliantly. So Net Zero know where you live in the UK. They know what solar irradiation should be in your area. They know what previous weather is like. They know what your system configuration is. And therefore they can pretty accurately predict what you're gonna produce from your solar panels and what you're gonna save from your power wall. Now I've had this system for about three months and mine is really, really accurate. Most days it comes in with four or five percent. The odd day it's out by 10 or 15 percent. But what it tells me is my system is working as expected. Is that what you expected? Yeah. <laughs> Now buying a power wall isn't particularly cheap, but one of the reasons people go for Tesla over the other product is because you get a no quibble warranty for 10 years. One of the conditions of this warranty is that they guarantee a minimum of 80% battery capacity in 10 years time. So obviously that's a handy thing to have on your side, but you've got to rely on Tesla to sort of come up with the goods to say your battery is below a certain capacity. What this Net Zero app does is give you full eyes on your system. So you can see the ongoing health of the cells within your product and you can see how they're deteriorating. So if you spot that your power wall is approaching that 80% level, then it's up to you to sort of put your hand up, let Tesla know, and then you'll get that replacement product. If you're gonna rely on Tesla, I'm sure they'll do it, but you are relying on them to give you that information. So for a free app to get access to all that valuable data, it's pretty impressive from Net Zero. So hopefully you know a bit more about this Net Zero app now. Now, if you want to try it, it's free. You've not got to pay to use it. Zigger has built it and it's free for everyone. Now, what products does it work with? Well, Powerwall 2, definitely. Powerwall 3, definitely. I'm not sure on Powerwall 1. If you know the answer, leave a comment below. 
What is interesting is they are developing it to integrate into Enphase. So we fit a lot of Enphase here at Heatable and this app is gonna have the same functionality or similar functionality as it does for Tesla, but with Enphase. We'll review it closer to the time once it's released. Now, like we said before, we've not been paid to do this video. This is just a piece of software that we use, we rate and we like, and we wanted to raise the awareness for it for anyone who's got a Tesla. His user base at the moment is primarily in America and Australia. It's not that big here in the UK. So let's see if we can grow that for him. Now he's got his own forum, he's got his own feedback forum on his website. So we suggest once you've downloaded it, leave him a review. And if you've got any suggestions for development, I'm sure he'll be happy to hear them. Watch out for more videos coming soon on the Heatable YouTube channel.